Hey everyone, it's Parking Lot Sheriff, and I've been playing the heck out of Tears of a Kingdom. Uh, quick spoiler warning, I'm not gonna be talking about any story spoilers or showing any gameplay from beyond the first couple of hours, just the main tutorial area. I will be talking about the main mechanics in the game, like new abilities, the fuse and stuff, just in case you guys want to experience that for yourselves. Okay, so I didn't really connect with Breath of the Wild when they came out. It, it took me like two years to beat, it just didn't hook me. I think Tears of a Kingdom is definitely better, but it's got some of the same problems as Breath of the Wild, and we'll get to that. Um, uh, what's good though? I mean, just that Zelda adventure out in the wilderness feel. They just turned that up to 11 in this game. It does reuse the Hyrule map from Breath of the Wild, but there's three new areas, well, two new areas, and they changed up Hyrule considerably. Like, old environments you went to are different now, they have different biomes, and there's like two equally sized new areas. So, the game starts off strong in this like new tutorial area up in the sky where everything is new and it feels fresh and you get your new abilities, uh, and that that's great. But then you do end up back in Hyrule, and it, it does feel like you're just playing Breath of the Wild again. But if, if you don't remember Breath of the Wild or had a good time, that's not really a problem. It just does feel a bit samey. But I mean, the new stuff's good. The new abilities, I do prefer these abilities, the ones in Breath of the Wild. So the main one you got is Ultra Hand. This is the thing you use to make, I don't know, giant pieces of erotic art. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. I'm sure smart people can break the game with this. I'm not smart. But building with the Ultra Hand, it's really intuitive. Like, I, I figured it out quite easily. And uh, you, you sort of rotate stuff on the spot, and then you press R to rotate them up and down. It's easy enough to build stuff fast enough once you get good enough. You do get ability later on where you can save whatever you build. Uh, what you also have is the fuse ability. Now this does speed up the early grind especially when you're back on Hyrule. So you can just take two crappy weapons and stick them together to have an okay weapon. It does speed it up a bit the grind but the fun part is just making weird weapons with the new Zonai technology so that's the new tech monsters rather than the ancient stuff from the previous game. Because you can keep fusing weapons onto your already garbage weapons there's no real reason to fight enemies anymore because I mean they might drop a stick but you can just get a stick from a tree and combine that with a rock and you have a weapon and you don't get XP for like taking out enemies. You also have rewind which turns back time so you can send stuff back at enemies or turn gears in the opposite direction. It's cool I, I, it comes in handy sometimes during combat combat or if you drop something. The best power up for traversing anyway is the one where you can go through ceilings. Just speeds up getting out of like a tunnel or a cave and there's a whole bunch of new caves they've added for this game. Because Hyrule's more or less the same, the way they added to it was by adding a bunch of caves inside mountains. There's collectibles inside, tough to do, and when you finish whatever cave you're doing you can just leave like Skyrim. Weirdly enough this game does feel quite Skyrim-y? I mean, if Breath of the Wild was like Morrowind, this is definitely Skyrim. Uh, the game does run at like 20 FPS most of the time, just so you know. Like, I just finished playing Skyward Sword and that's a crisp 60 FPS, but it is a massive open world game running on Nintendo hardware. I'm, I'm not excusing it, but especially when there's a big weather condition or too many enemies on screen, it is a bit of a problem. The game also doesn't hold your hand when you start off. Like, it, it doesn't teach you all the old combat mechanics from Breath of the Wild, which mm, I, I did kind of forget about. I forgot you could surf on your shield till like 15 hours in. The biggest change they made this time around is the story, actually. I, I, I genuinely don't remember the story of Breath of the Wild. Zelda actually features quite prominently in this one, and there's a real villain, which I thought was cool. It sort of felt, again, like Skyward Sword. Again, I'm, I'm comparing this a lot to Skyward Sword because I'm assuming that's the main inspiration. Like, a lot of complaints with Skyward Sword was that the sky was quite barren and there's nothing to do and this sort of fixes that. Just navigating these floating islands is quite fun and it does change up the game quite considerably. And most of the combat remains the same. I, I quite like the bow combat. Uh, they got rid of all the fire and lightning arrows and you can just put whatever on top of your arrow. Which I really like. Uh, I wish I could play the game with just the bow, like I'm Hawkeye or something. Uh, but no, it, it, you still gotta use your melee weapons. The bows aren't too powerful. You've got your dodges and parries. Everything from the previous game, it doesn't really change much of that. It does add a few more enemies. Uh, because I think the last game, uh, there was mainly goblins and people who could hold swords because you needed swords. This time around, there's more non-weapon wielding enemies, which I thought was cool because you can fuse 
anything onto your weapon and turn it into a weapon like a rock or a tree branch. I mean, overall, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a first party Nintendo Zelda game that made it with so much love and care. And now the, um, not, not so good. Everyone loves Breath of the Wild, more or less. Like, I've spoken to quite a few people who absolutely love that game but haven't finished it. I mean, the main problems last time was because it was a massive open world and you could do it in any order you wanted to, everything sort of felt the same. Like all the main dungeons were kind of dull. You just fought environmental versions of each Ganon in each samey dungeon and all the shrines looked the same and there were so many of them and there were so many Korok seeds. Yeah, just a whole lot of busy work. Uh, the dungeons this time around are a bit more varied. They didn't feel same-ish, they all felt quite epic. However, I mean, everything's still there, but there's more of it. Zelda games always reward you too much for menial tasks, like cutting grass is the only way to earn rupees early on, and I will cut every piece of grass I see because I need rupees. It's the same with Tears of a Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. A lot of it does feel like busy work and most of the solutions to the problems are just an inconvenience like when it rains you can't climb a cliff and the only solution is either earn the rock climbing armor or just wait. Like it, it, it doesn't feel like I'm solving a problem, I'm just inconvenienced by the hurdle the game's put in front of me. Again they have addressed it a bit the towers, you don't have to climb slowly. You can just go in at the ground floor and they launch you up. Shrines feel shorter and are more straightforward. Like, they could take you either, like, two minutes or twenty minutes, depending on the shrine. I, I, I don't hate it. I, I mean, it does feel like an open world game. Probably one of the best, but it, it doesn't change the fact it's still got open world game problems. I mean, overall, I think it's an improvement on Breath of the Wild. I do prefer this to Breath of the Wild. It's holding my attention. I'm about 30, 40-ish hours in. I haven't finished it, but I do plan to. I'll probably do a full real review eventually. I'm, I'm assuming normal people have left at this point. But yeah, this is a bit something a bit more casual that I can have out the week of a game rather than a full-blown review with scripted jokes and the likes. I am beating around the bush because I don't want to get hate for thinking it was like a 9 out of 10. But yeah, I, 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 I like Zelda, it's quite good. I might do more of these. I am working on a Skyward Sword review. I went too far in some places. Yeah, I, I, I quite liked Skyward Sword, and of course I would, because it's got dumbass motion controls. But yeah, I, I suck at doing outros, and I'm still doing one, and it will end eventually. Um, yeah, Tears of a Kingdom, good. Pretty good. Uh, still got some problems. Uh, if you didn't like Breath of the Wild, uh, you, you might like this, but you probably won't. Um, GG. I'm still going. Uh, bye. Please leave. Oh, uh, do something. Right? Uh, pick a number between 1 and 10. Yeah. You do that, and I'll know. Don't, 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 don't worry how I know, I just know. Was it, mm? Yeah, see, you, you misheard, right? <laughs> oh my god. Bye. 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 You, you're still here. What are you doing here? I said bye. I swear, there's, there's nothing else here. This is... How long is this outro going? I think it's reaching a minute. I should stop, right? There's nothing here. What are you still doing here? Do -do -do -do. <laughs> I'll I'll close OBS in a second. I use OBS. Obviously, because I'm smart. I don't know. Is this behind the scenes? I didn't do a joke video. I do want to do a joke video. Oh my god, this is going to be on the YouTube channel forever. But I do want to do a joke video uh, for the upcoming birthday. The official birthday of when I made the channel has passed. But the first video birthday, I guess, is what I'm going off. The one year anniversary. I wanted to make a joke video uh, where I start some YouTube drama with this animated dog called uh, Sheriff Labrador. So the problem there is whenever you type in parking lot sheriff on YouTube, this 
this bastard comes up warning people that parking lots are unsafe that it's dangerous to play in parking lots and then if you want to find me you have to go parking lot sheriff no spaces great bye I mean it this time honestly <laughs>